Hello, my name's Rachel Joyce, and I'm the author of The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, The Music Shop, amongst others. Um, this is where I come every day to write. It's a caravan in the middle of a field in the countryside in the UK. So I'd just like to send you a quick message to thank you as librarians for looking after my books. It really means a lot to me that my books reach people through their libraries. It's where I learnt to read as a child and where I learnt to discover what a wealth of reading there was available to me and also somewhere where I felt safe. So thank you. I'd like to introduce you to my new book and then lastly I'm going to just tell you a small secret about me and libraries. But my new book Miss Benson's Beetle will be available in November and I'm really excited about it. It's a book that means a lot to me. I decided that this time I wanted to write a book where I put two women you know, right at the centre of the novel. It's about an inspirational female friendship between two women but I didn't want it just to be an emotional study of a friendship and so I decided to send my two women on the most spectacular adventure. It's 1950, Marjorie Benson and Enid Pretty, who are not at all well matched. Um, Enid Pretty is a young woman in a kind of bright pink travelling suit. Marjorie Benson is a spinster in her 50s who's not really ever gone anywhere. And the two of them cross to the other side of the world, to the most beautiful island, in search of a beetle, a golden beetle, that no one has ever found. It's funny, I hope. It's uh, a page turner, I hope. Um, but it's also tender, I think, because it's about the, the power of two women and how they find their best selves through one another. It also has the most brilliant cover, and that's nothing to do with me, so I can say it. Now, lastly, my uh, secret about me in libraries is that, actually, I am a librarian. I'm not a proper librarian. I'm a volunteer librarian. But I, I don't normally tell people about it. I just go to my local library um, every couple of weeks, and I'm allowed to put the books back. I'm not allowed to stamp any books. Um, but I am allowed to, yes, organise the books properly and also to just talk to people who want to be heard. And so that's what I do. I, I sit there, I listen, often for a very long time, and I get a real glimpse of what your work involves. And I feel full of admiration and gratitude that it's what you do. I have to admit that sometimes when the library is closed, or, or just very, very quiet, i.e. no one's in it, I do sometimes go to the J section, and sometimes I just reorganise it slightly so that the books by Rachel Joyce are in a slightly more prominent position. Anyway, librarians, I'm sending you all my best wishes and my thanks. Bye.